Joe Brian Elber is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. A lot of news to get into here today. The Raw ratings for Monday night. Nothing exciting. 1.64 million viewers, up 5.3% from last week. Best viewership number Raw has drawn since May 17. 0.48 in 18 to 49, which is up 11%. Tied the May 17th episode... They tied the May 17th episode for Raw's best number in that category since May 10. Why is May 10 the cutoff? Maybe the NBA playoffs or something. Last week's Raw drawn the second lowest viewership and the second lowest 18 to 49 in the history of the show. So anyway, uh, what we know is that the first hour did 1.667 million, second hour 1.651 million, and the third hour 1.602 million. So first hour... The story is the first hour didn't do great, and then it just stayed there the rest of the show. I like to think that a bunch of people were like me, and they turned on the show, and like 10 minutes in, they were done. So the first hour ended up averaging 1.667, and everybody, if you made it through the first 15 minutes of Raw, bro, you're hardcore enough, and you're going to watch this whole show. That's what I get out of this. Now, the rumor, which I do not have confirmed, the rumor is that the... Uh, Lex's playground at the end of the show was the highest rated quarter on the show. I mean, maybe it was. Would you want that? I'm sure they do. All I know is if I was Shayna Baszler, I would want that to be the lowest rated segment on the show. Because you know what happens when you're in a segment like that and it's the highest rated segment on the show? It means a whole bunch of people watched it and it means they're going to say, oh, we got to do more with this. That's the last thing on this planet I'd want. But that's the story, so there you go. Yeah, but isn't the con- converse of that kind of true, too, where if they, you know, it's the lowest rated thing on the show, they're not going to blame Lily. They're going to blame Shayna Baszler. Good. Take it out on her. Good. Take me off TV. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yeah, take but you me. Get I'd that rather, lucky? I would rather be off TV than be involved in that storyline. Well, what if you're on TV just taking L's now every week? She was doing it before, but at least yeah, she was one almost... half of the tag team champions. Yeah, but she now was she's losing feuding to... with a doll. True, but you can make the excuse she was losing to the Charlottes and Oscars. She wasn't losing to everybody. Now, if she were to to do something like this, get the lowest hour, now she'll just get beat by everybody. She'll be getting submitted by Reginald. Bro, I would rather be submitted by Reginald than be feuding with a doll. <laughs> you want to make a list of things I'd rather do than feud with a doll? <laughs> They make movies, pal. This is for the new Universal Studios WWE exhibit that's going to have the Hall of Fame. Once NBC Universal, once Xfinity buys them, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have you're going to have Undertaker's walking around. You know, you're going to have this this setup over here. It's going to be like you two can chase after our truth for the 24/7 title. This is the direction they're going. You're just going to have to accept this now. That's Bro. the only excuse. That that's the only thing I can come up with when they do this type of stuff it gets the reaction it does and then they don't even just double down on it they quadruple down on it my daughter is five and we were in a pandemic and we got disney plus and various other things and i've watched a lot of movies in the last year and a half I've watched Frozen 1, I've watched Frozen 2, I've watched Trolls, I've watched Land Before Time, I've watched Star Wars, I've watched The Empire Strikes Back, I've watched the first half of Return of the Jedi, but that's it because the second half's too scary for her. I could go on and on. And let me tell you what WWE isn't doing. They ain't making movies. All right? I'm watching kids' movies. I have not seen one movie that is in the realm of what they are doing with this doll and Shayna Baszler. This is bottom-of-the-barrel trash. It ain't a movie. It's no good. I've been watching movies. They're producing content. That they're doing. I mean, I'll give them that. They are producing loads of content, and they're getting paid for it. So in that case, I mean, in that sense, more power to them. Like, keep, keep creating your content and making money. But I don't need to like the content. And I'm certainly not going to sit here and tell you that the content is the equivalent of actual movies. I even once watched Plan 9 from Outer Space. That's not a worse movie than what they're doing in WWE. It's not. Actually, it's not at all. It's not at all. In fact, what you were able to stretch out of that, it's why 
El Mariachi, for those that have seen it, these are, that's the movie that came before Desperado, which was a big budget. But if you watch El Mariachi, you look at some of the, the stunts and the, the you know shootings in there and what the blood looks like, you can go, how cheap is that? But the fact that he was able to create basically kind of a little mini masterpiece for like, I don't know, $3,000 or something like that, Robert Rodriguez, it was ridiculous. Like, that's why you give extra credit to those types of people when you are producing and you have all of these things at your disposal and you're producing the kind of content they're doing forget about the wacky stuff just the wrestling part of the deal that we're supposed to be caring about or that i guess you know some of us are supposed to be caring about like that doesn't make any sense nothing on raw it clicks at all and it's all just a big jagged terrible mess this guy here he just never gives up i am battery he goes Brian, this content isn't for you, but it has an audience. Do I need to make a list of what has an audience? You can name anything, and there is an audience for it. What does that mean? Yeah. I'm not going to make comparisons to some of the most horrific things on the planet Earth, but pick a horrific thing on the planet Earth, and there is an audience for it. German midget porn. Okay? There's an audience for anything. But... Just because Raw does a uh, 1.67 million viewers, that doesn't mean there's an audience for what they did at the end of the show. That means there's an audience for WWE, the WWE product. Most of that audience probably want to see wrestling or they want to see people they perceive as stars. Uh, this idea that there's an audience for this, I'm sure there's an audience for Katie Vick. There was an audience for WCW at the end. There's an audience for Vince Russo podcast. Bro, there's an audience for anything. That doesn't mean that it should be on national television. That doesn't mean that it's something that you should make a showcase part of your women's division. Name something. I can give you an audience for it. It's horrible. And by the way, if you think that like it's a big draw for WWE fans, why don't you go and look? Because they put everything up on social media. Why don't you look at the social media comments when they put this, this uh, Shayna Baszler, Alexa Bliss stuff up on YouTube? It was not positive. It was a bunch of people bearing it for sucking. But hey, there's an audience for anything. <laughs> hey, look, it, it's not like you shouldn't take some chances, too. And I under, I look, I'm an old guy. I'm a, a 45-year-old guy who's like, I grew up watching wrestling in the early to mid-80s. Like, that's what set the table for me. Like, 86 was an incredible year. So I know that things are going to come along that... It's, you know, you, you want to try to stay progressive with things, but you there are some things where it's like, okay, I don't get this, or I don't understand this, but it works. Music's the same way. My son listens to hip-hop that, uh, it's not hip-hop, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. Times change, things move on. you got to take chances, including some of this wacky stuff that they've done with Bray Wyatt and things like that. I get it. But when it obviously doesn't work, and like Brian says, when you read the reactions, when you see the reaction, when they go in front of live people at WrestleMania, you're probably missing the mark. But they don't see it that way, and they're going to continue to hammer down on this at a time where, again, they're at their lowest point when it comes to viewership. So is it working? Does it work for an audience? I guess there's an audience, like Brian said, there's an audience for everything. There is. Look, this guy goes, Raw has lost 70% of their viewers in the last three years. 70% of their viewers. So that would be like if I decided on this show, you know what I'm going to do? Every segment, I am going to vomit on air. Okay, well, I'd lose probably more than 70% of my viewers. I'd probably lose like 90% of my viewers. But you know what? There's an audience for everything. So you guys may not like it, and I may lose 90% of my audience, but there is there is some audience for me vomiting in every segment of this, this program here. Now, I would be a fool if I chose to cater to that audience and lose 90% of my audience. That would be foolish of me. Unless, of course, you're I am Bathory, and then it's okay that they lost 70% of their viewers because there is an audience for Alexa Bliss and Shayna Baszler and Shayna feuding with a doll. So let's keep doing it. My argument is, let's not do it, because it sucks! Yeah! Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.